Criticate! We're not playing. Welcome back to the Christian playthrough of Pokemon <laughs> Leaf Green. <laughs> uh, actually, they can't see the cross on the screen, Robert. Uh, would you like to say a few words, Jacob? Yeah. Um, I'm religious. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> if, if you're offended by, by me being girl 666, why are you on the internet? This is not a place for you. I believe that no matter what your religious beliefs are, you could watch our show. Yeah. I mean, you should. Because we want people watching our show. Yeah. <laughs> Unless you're one of those fucking atheists. Yeah. Hate uh, those guys, I'm right? an atheist. <laughs> More like a fucking gay atheist. Huh. Hold up. Wait, what's happening? Making sure the recording's going. We're back. Sorry about that. We didn't even pause. Did we? We sort of paused. Fuck. Welcome back. <laughs> Why are you an old man now? <laughs> no! <laughs> What's happening? Help! Well, welcome back to Funny Joe. This is Funny Joe Plays Funny Joe Pokemon. Plays. Uh, I, I'm Funny Joe, and I'm, I'm clearly... This is, uh, this is me being funny. <laughs> Can I read you a text that my friend sent me today? Yeah, sure. Uh, I think it's a copy pasta, but I'm okay. gonna read it off on the show anyway because sure. I thought it was really Thanks. funny. Okay. Uh. Okay. Tiny mushroom. To be fair, you have to have a very high IQ to understand Rick and Morty. <laughs> the humor is extremely <laughs> subtle, and without a solid grasp of theoretical physics, most of the jokes will go over a typical viewer's head. There's also Rick's nihilistic outlook which is definitely woven into his characterization. His personal philosophy draws heavily from uh, Naradinea Volia literature. For instance, the fans understand this stuff. They have the intellectual capacity to truly appreciate the depth of these jokes, wow. to understand that they're not just funny. They suddenly say something deep about life. As a consequence, people who dislike Rick and Morty truly are idiots. Wow. Of course, they wouldn't un appreciate, for instance, the humor in Rick's existential catchphrase, Wubba Lubba Dub Dub, which, <laughs> it's itself, a joke. which itself is a cryptic reference to Turgenev's Turg Russian epic, Fathers and Sons. <laughs> I'm smirking right now just imagining one of those addle padded simpletons <laughs> scratching their heads in confusion <laughs> as Dan Harmon's genius wit in, in unfolds itself on their television screens. What fools. How I pity them. Oh. And yes, No! By the way, no! And yes, by the way, I do have a Rick and Morty tattoo. And no, you cannot see it. It's for the ladies' eyes only. And not even... And even then, they have to demonstrate that they're within five Shit. IQ points of my own. Preferably lower beforehand. Oh Nothing personnel, God. kid. Drops mic. <laughs> what a shitty person. If real, and probably not. No, my friend said like, that to me 100% as a joke. Yeah, but but like there are people who watch Rick and Morty who think that. Oh yeah, no, which dude, is fucking uh, terrible. R slash I am very smart yeah. is full of Ricks. <laughs> it's so funny. And my favorite, my favorite picture I've ever seen. Yeah. Is is someone? It was like a twi uh, a post on someone Twitter. Yeah. That's just like. All you Rick and Morty fans out there thinking you're Ricks when you're really Jerry's. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, th the message of the show isn't even that great. Have, have you watched the most recent no, one? No, I, I, I have like four episodes. Oh, there. okay, okay. Well, th like the most recent one was like, it had a, it had like a, a message actually, which surprised me because most mm -hmm. of the episodes don't have like morals or anything. Yeah, I mean, some of them do. Some of them do, but very, very rarely. And, and this one, I don't know, it kind of shoved the morality aspect, which was weird. Because it was it's it was hilarious, obviously, but yes, I don't know. Don't get serious, guys. It's a fucking comedy. I do I do like it a little bit when Rick and Morty get serious. Uh, uh just occasionally. Occasionally, but this was this was different. This wasn't this wasn't like, um, this wasn't like oh, there's a moment like where Rick's about to commit suicide. This was, uh, I have a message. You, 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 all you people, here's the moral of the story. <laughs> like it's you like, said it out loud. Kind of. I mean, they, they, like they do everything movie. except except saying it, but it, it's not played for laughs. I don't know. It's you can watch it and decide yourself. I mean, I really liked uh, early seasons of South Park. With the uh, end of every episode, they'd sit down and go like, <laughs> "I learned I something, learned something <laughs> today," and it's just <laughs> not right. No. Yeah. <laughs> if you're gay, just hide that shit. <laughs> 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 well, like, there's like one episode where. Uh, and then later on, they start doing actual like, yeah, of course, yeah, and everything. But like Mr. Garrison uh, at the Museum of Tolerance is like, tolerance just means we have to put up with each other. It doesn't mean we have to fucking like each other. 
<laughs> it's, it's great. It's so skewed. <laughs> I know. It's funny. And yeah, uh, you actually do need sure. to have a high IQ to watch South Park. <laughs> you know, pe- normal people wouldn't get stuff like member berries. I wouldn't berries. be with a girl unless she's five points below my IQ. Maybe more. What an ass. <laughs> what an ass thing to say. IQ isn't real. It's not a real test. Stop trying to judge your intelligence. I turned myself into an and- IQ test, Morty. <laughs> <laughs> Morty. My favorite thing that they did uh, recently was, you know how like they're doing like, oh, I'm Pickle Rick. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, Tiny Rick. They did an episode and, and this most recent one, he's like, oh, yeah, I'm regular Rick. <laughs> oh, best of both worlds, baby. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> it's so good. And then in the same episode, they killed me again uh, where he's like, oh, shit. No, I'm going to kill it. Yeah, you are. Fuck. Oh, well. I guess I'm sticking with Lucifer. <laughs> Lucifer only run. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> uh, so, check out Lucifer, uh, 7 o'clock on... <laughs> what channel is Lucifer on? Is it Fox? Know, it's a good show. Is it? Yeah, I, I like it. I watched it. It's pretty good. It's 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 a procedural cop drama, but yeah. one of one of the men is Lucifer. <laughs> it's really good. <laughs> that sounds like the dumbest... Like, some executive was like, okay, we have a cop drama, but well, it's, it's based it's on Satan. Neil Gaiman's The Sandman. Yeah, <laughs> it's based on something, but that sounds like a concept that someone just pitched for like oh yeah, of stupid course reasons. I mean, I which is funny. My favorite thing in the world is every every time there's a new season of shows that come out, seeing what stupid procedural cop drama is <laughs> next. Like, there's one where it was Frankenstein. Yeah, it was a cop drama. There was one that was just fucking. Uh, it was limitless, which I liked. Okay, <laughs> I liked it. I'll say it. Uh, there was one where it was uh, procedural cop drama, but Ichabod Crane was the was the yeah. That was like kick. fucking four seasons. It's still running. Yeah, I know. I know. It was popular. Yeah, I know. How the fuck did Sleepy Hollow mind. get popular? <laughs> um, I actually also liked. Fuck, what's that Tom Cruise movie? Shit, 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 shit. Uh, it's, he's in the future. Uh, there's pre- precognitives who can see crimes before they happen. Fuck, Minority Report. Okay. They made a show based on Minority Report that was okay. pretty good. Okay. But it was just a shitty procedural cop uh, drama. <laughs> they make a joke on that on 30 Rock, mm-hmm. where it's like, he starts trying to tank the network, so he, he greenlights a show called God Cop, where it's the guy <laughs> and God working together to solve crimes. That's literally what Lucifer <laughs> is, but backwards. Yeah, I know, it's but so Lucifer's funny. genuinely good. Yeah. Like, I really like it. Sure. I don't know. So, um... Anyway, what I was saying, uh, the Rick and Morty joke. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was fucking killed me. Uh, Rick comes in like he crashes into an apartment to take Morty back, and he's got all these little drones that help him. And uh, Rick's like, or Morty's like, can you, give, can you give the drones to this lady? And he's like, no, Morty, she can't have the drones. The drones form a little tiny Voltron. They're <laughs> fucking awesome. <laughs> <laughs> the drones go and they form a Voltron. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> that's so funny. That's so good. God, that's so dumb. <laughs> that, that's the kind of shit I love from that show. Yeah. Like, r- God, love it. You love know, it if death. I wish I had a better IQ so I could really get <laughs> yeah. into it. Yeah, sorry. I, yeah. Uh, IQ scores are dumb, too. Do you know what I, I learned recently? Yeah. IQ scores I were, do know that. D- were developed, because <laughs> I have a high IQ. Uh, IQ scores were developed to ch- to test children yeah they, they were developed as like a like do you have basic motor skills and can identify colors uh and then some asshole was just like oh this can be applied to all adults right and because people love meme clickbaity shit all the time uh it became really popular and people decided that that's how we judge intelligence <laughs> that's fucking stupid it's fucking stupid human society gives me worthless. hope and then takes it all away <laughs> humanity is worthless <laughs> What if that's, it just, what that's if you the just point of our laxative? Lucifer run. Like, <laughs> girl 666 picked up picked laxative. Up laxative. Oh, look at the pine co. Is it called a pine co? That's what I said. Oh, they said pine co. Pine. I said pine co. <laughs> Shit, power of Christ compels it. <laughs> oh, man. God, Am I, I wish you guys could see the physical game? comedy I was doing with this yeah, hilarious with, with cross bit. It's not, yeah. <laughs> it's not funny. <laughs> it's, no, it's kind of funny. Nothing I ever do is funny. It was funny that the fucking cross fell over when I named her girl 666. I know, that's weird. <laughs> <laughs> it was so good. All right, first battle. I'm Battle Rick. I'm Battle Rick. Dude, Dude okay. Rick, if you had to make a procedural cop drama, yeah. what would you make? <laughs> as stupid as humanly possible. Uh, I, I do a procedural cop drama, but his partner has the brain of a dog. 
So he's he's dog brain. <laughs> Have you seen Mutsky? No. It's an a early '90s pilot that didn't get made into a show. Okay. For a procedural cop drama <laughs> where one of the cops turns into a dog. <laughs> I mean, that's the kind of shit that they do all the time. Oh, yeah. Yeah, for like, Yeah. And you're just like, what What compels you? I mean, even even like the best cop dramas, like fucking, uh, I don't know, NCIS, CSI, mm-hmm. they're not even that great. <laughs> pick, pick a random movie from the 80s or 90s and find a way to make it into a cop drama. That's what's popular right now. Oh, okay. Um... Well then, Forrest Gump, but he's a cop and he has to <laughs> <laughs> arrest people. <laughs> I was gonna do uh, either Back to the Future or Alien. So, <laughs> uh, so it's like, but like the Alien one isn't like his partner's an alien. His partner's Sigourney Weaver, but then like she's uh, like hunting down the alien who killed her father or whatever. Thanks. <laughs> I just ripped off the tag of one of Jacob's pillows illegally. And gave it to him. No, legally. It's legal to do after you after you bought it. Shit. <laughs> Are you sure this isn't a rental? <laughs> no, it's not a rental pillow. <laughs> it's like a random cushion we I found around here. Yeah, I use my yeah, rental Robert. J-Rag. <laughs> Rent a J-Rag. You gotta return it to JB Hi-Fi. <laughs> Lucifer. Come on, man. Um... Yeah, but I'd make no, it. Okay, I'd make like. It. No, wait. They did make Terminator into like a procedural drama, actually, didn't they? Or wait, did they? I never saw it. But is is was Sarah Connor Chronicles bad? Uh, I think I I never saw it either. But mm. I think people say they didn't like it. Like <gasps> that's the general consensus. Who framed Roger Rabbit procedural cop drama? Oh, that'd be good. That actually. would be good. <laughs> that would be unironically really good. Yeah, that'd be hard as shit though. It would. It would be. It's like Son of Zorn. <laughs> I watched one episode of Son of Zorn recently. <laughs> oh my god. Did you like it? No! It was so bad. It was unbelievably bad. Yeah. Uh, that sounds right. Did you hear about that show that came out uh, just this past spring called Imaginary Mary? No. What it's the about fuck a is that? single woman in her like, in her mid twenties and she's she doesn't just trying No no, she's trying to live her normal life, but she has this imaginary friend that's like a fucking CGI like puffball. What? That's always following her and being and it's really that's annoying. It's crazy. And that just that was something that was just on primetime TV and that's no one watched stu- it. Of course not. What the fuck? <laughs> uh, put a picture of imaginary Mary on the screen. Jesus. You guys need to have an idea of what this character looks like. <laughs> Imagine watching a car- a show that was just about that. <laughs> I would have liked it more if it was just like, Mary was a normal, everyday housewife until she found out she doesn't exist. <laughs> <laughs> now she has to find out who took her reality away from her. Sundays at 5, Imaginary Mary. <laughs> on WGN <laughs> on WTX 57Q I think WGN is a local yeah, channel it's a local never channel. mind yeah <laughs> WGN is where the shit shows go <laughs> <laughs> you know the the local yeah everyone has the and local CW. network that kind of uh, fucking they, sucks they show CW and Tyler Perry shows yeah CW is home of a lot of garbage too a uh, home alone cop drama <laughs> Like <laughs> there's like crimes, and then the kid always solves it by like setting up ridiculous mousetrap inventions. What is the character's name? I don't remember. Fuck. Hold <laughs> on. I need to look at my pause. But no, we're not gonna pause the, pause episode. the episode. No, just look it up while I play Pokemon. Shh. That's the concept Shh. of this show. Shh. Shh. <laughs> Fuck. Wait. Next episode. Oh, <laughs> next, next episode. episode for procedural Home Alone. We'll start the episode with it. <laughs> I'm just gonna I'm gonna make an annoying noise until you subscribe. That's what I'm gonna do. Uh-huh. Did you did you do it yet? Just fucking just do it. Uh-huh.